You shall hear of the Midnight Ride. Jerry Ross, 18th of April in 75. I wasn't alive. But he said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea tonight, hang a lantern aloft and of the North Church Towers a signal light, one if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore shall be. Another edition, people, of Take Back America. Taking my hat off for you that tuned in tonight. I hope we're going to have some interesting things for you to consider tonight. Among them, and not the least of which, Jerry Ross. Is this guy named Jerry Ross? And you can get a close-up of Jerry Ross here. He's got a book out called Spacewalker. There's Jerry in his spacesuit. I met this gentleman at the NASA facility in Florida otherwise sometimes known as Cape Kennedy, and he's got a book out called Spacewalker. And one of the interesting things I found in the book called Spacewalker, his life history, he grew up on a farm. This is a rural kid. Planes were a mysterious thing to him. His father was Donald John Ross. His mother was Phyllis Elaine Ross. He was a normal guy, and I like he put his little bit of his genealogy in this, and he shows him and his dad in baseball outfits, him and his dad out on the farm. He goes into his childhood. He's even got his, his grade school picture. Look at this. All his classmates right there. Jerry Ross and all his classmates. Even his classmates that were on his page of the book, they get a little bit of fame. This guy holds the record. He holds the record for space walking. And he's got a picture of himself here with the X-15 rocket-powered space plane. He's got the Mercury 7 astronauts in here, which I thought I have to put over on this camera. The Mercury 7 astronauts. Uh, gosh, is, does anybody remember them anymore? The Mercury 7. There he is with the X-15 in the lower, and then you've got the, the guys up there. Some of them died in a fiery test on the ground. Grissom was one of them. Uh, I think uh, that was a sad tragedy that didn't have to happen. A lot of sacrifices were made by brave guys who were basically engineers and, and, and flight jock, jockeys that just loved the whole concept of going into space. And the book is full of this stuff, but it's not deep. It's, it's not, you know, engineer stuff. And it's, it's, I recommend the book. The Spacewalker, My Journey to the Stars, Becoming a Spacewalker by astronaut Jerry L. Ross with Susan G. Gunderson helping him write and edit the book. Nice guy. I am sad to say, there's a shot of him spacewalking, but I'm sad to say that most of the best part of our manned space program has been mothballed. In lieu of having endless wars that gain us nothing but enemies around the world, and make the bank gangsters richer and richer. And yeah, that's why I had my, uh, my uh, astronaut jacket on tonight. Just give you a little quick view. You, you don't see these <laughs> every day, but uh, maybe I'll put it over here. You can get all the different programs are right here. Apollo programs, there they are. I mean, I'm, I'm proud as punch that I'm in the country that had this program. I am really quite proud of that. I'm not so proud of the warmongers that took us away from science and space exploration and plunged us into endless wars, to use George W. Bush's exact words. Ready to strike the band.